In this episode, we are going to take a look on how to draw a quad using triangle strips. Uh, but before that, I'm just going to slightly modify the vertex shader to actually include layout uh, qualifiers. So here, for these two lines, I'm going to add the layout and location equals zero, which is an input of vector free type called A position. And here also, so layout, layout, location equals one, which is an input of type vector free called A underscore color. And by doing this way, you don't need to get the attribute location from the shader. So I'm just going to delete this line and also for the color, I'm going to delete this line. And in the enable vertex attribute array, I'm just going to set it to enable the vertex attribute array at layout location zero and set the ver vertex attribute pointer at layout location zero. And do this for the color. So the color is at layout location uh, one, as you can see. So enable vertex attribute array at layout location one and GL vertex attribute pointer at layout location one. So we have the same result as before, but now we don't have to call the GL attribute location function. So, okay, now let's modify the vertex buffer to actually include one more uh, vertex. But uh, before I continue, I, so here is the lower left, here is the lower right. I'm going to change this to be actually negative, negative 0.5 on x and 0.5 on the y-axis. So now we should have a right triangle. And here I'm going to place the third, or I mean the fourth vertex. So here I'm just going to add the comma. And the first, fourth uh, vertex will be at 0 0.5 on x, um, 0 0.5 on y, still 0 at, at uh, z, and its color, let's say, will be wide. So 1, 1, and 1. And now I'm going to change these GL triangles to be GL triangle underscore strip. And uh, it is still not enough because here in the GL drawer arrays, now we have four vertices. So one, two, three, and four. So we need to change this three to four. And now if I run it, we have a quad using GL triangle strip and four vertices. And as you can see, the fourth vertex has a color of white. So this was the first, this is the second, this is the third. And with the GL triangle strip, it will re reuse the the, these two vertices and it will connect to the third vertex here. And as a bonus information, because we have uh, enough time, uh, I'm going to show you what bothers me. So if I resize the window, as you can see the quad doesn't resize us with the window. So we are going to implement a resize callback function. And here, after the vertex and the fragment shaders, I'm going to define this function. Define, and I'm going to call it window underscore resize. And this function will take three argu arguments. First is the window, and the second will be the width of the window and the height. Uh, uh, height. And when the window resizes, we are going to call the GL viewport function. GL viewport. And this takes four arguments, so the lower left corner, so uh, 0, 0, and the width of the window, so width, and the height of the window, uh, height. And uh, let me show you this GL viewport function. So here it is, the GL viewport function sets the viewport. So x, y, width, height. The x parameter is the lower left corner of the viewport rectangle in pixels. And the y coordinate is the lower left corner of the viewport rectangle in pixels. And the width, which is the width of the viewport, and the height, the height of the viewport. So when an OpenGL context is first attached to a window, width and height are set to the dimensions of the window, of that window. 
and the same applies here. So when, a, when an OpenGL context is first attached to a window, width and height are set to the dimensions of that window. But uh, of course, when the window dimen dimensions are changed, we need to reset uh, also the context or change the resize the context. So that's why we need this function and this will be a callback function. So I'm, ju I'm just going to register this callback function here, let's say, after the setting the windows position, I'm just going to call the glfw.set underscore window, 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 window underscore size callback. Uh, here it is. So set underscore window underscore size callback. And it needs as its first argument the window, and its second argument is the callback function. So uh, we call it window resize. Window resize, of course, without the parentheses or the brackets. It is just the reference for this function. So let me take a look at the GLFW reference. So here it is, GLFW set window size callback. This function sets the size callback of the, of the specified window, which is called when the window is resized. The callback is provided by the, with the size in screen coordinates of the content area of the window. So its first argument is the window, and its second argument is the cbfun, which is uh, the callback function. Okay, so now, because we registered this callback function, it will be automatically called when I resize the window. So now let's take a look. Let's resize it. And as you can see now, the OpenGL context resizes with the window. <laughs> 